Hello guys, you are much much welcome to this beautiful channel of ours. This is a family channel. You know, this is a family channel, the Boss BK channel. It is for you and it's for me. It's for all of us. This is where we all gather to get information to travel outside our countries for greener pastures. You know, migrating is not a it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to travel. You can travel. When you go and you make it, you come and develop your country. Or you come and develop your place. That's that's all. That's that's not a problem at all. People travel, okay, migrate to school, uh, uh, to work, to even marry. So it's not a problem to travel. But hey, if you want to migrate, migrate well. That is what I always talk about. Pass the take the correct channel, okay? That is why I am here. So you take the correct channel, then you move through smoothly, and you don't have you don't you don't have to be stranded in somebody's land or on somebody's land. Don't stay away from bad uh, agents. They will scam you. They will take away your money. You just listen to us, and you get the correct direction. Okay. So if you need any advice, you can contact me, boss bk101 at gmail.com and thank you all who have the trust in me mostly many people call me and then we talk many people send me send me messages in my email then we talk thank you all very much now if you are watching me as a as, as already a part of the family thumbs up and if you're a new person here kindly hit the subscribe button so that we continue please hit the subscribe button so that we continue. Thank you very much. Now, what I want to talk about is that I want us to go to New Zealand, okay? New Zealand, the good news is that um, New Zealand, the companies, the most companies there want to employ people outside New Zealand. That is, they are trying, they are, they are employing foreigners, okay? They are employing foreigners. The, the reason being that, you know, the COVID-19 happened in a way uh, many countries had to close their, their borders. Ghana closed, Nigeria closed, out of many countries closed their borders. European countries, American countries, a whole lot, they all closed their borders. Now they, they had to open the borders now. But New Zealand, for New Zealand, they just opened the border. I think about a month or a month and a half ago, they opened their borders, their borders. So people can travel to New Zealand to work. Now, New Zealand, there is a shortage of uh, highly skilled workers. This is not happening just in New Zealand. Many countries, many countries, many places, there are always shortages. And people have to travel to work. It, it is normal, okay? So now, New Zealand too, it is happening there. Um, highly skilled workers are needed in New Zealand. And there, there, are, there are so many opportunities available. Many companies have the, uh, the, the, the opportunity, the, uh, the authorization from the government to be able to employ people, foreigners, to go and work there. And they have the authorization as well to sponsor you, okay, to sponsor you, meaning, like I have been explaining earlier, if the companies, uh, if you, you apply to the company that you want to work with them and they 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 accept your application they go through everything is okay and they want to employ you they just help you get your your visa everything and go you you move so there are a whole lot of companies here that i'm going to mention to you but before then you have to know that also know that i have been telling you that try as much as possible now that you haven't traveled please just take your time okay Take your time, try as much as possible to get some certificate, to get some hand skilled, uh, 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 um, something to do like like vocational skills. You have to get something like a carpentry, uh, masonry, um, a chef, like food, uh, painting, all those stuff. Try as much as possible driving so that you can you can you can in, you can let's say you can increase or update your CV to be more nicer, okay? Don't travel outside to settle for less. Just, just uh, 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 cleaning is not a bad job, okay? Cleaning is not a bad job, but many times you just travel and you think that any work I get, I do. No, that is not it. At least try as much as possible to help yourself more. 
Okay, just help yourselves more. So, you know, you have to be able to, and let's say, let's say in New Zealand, uh, the, the, the job or the work opportunities is around more or less around, let's say, um, construction. There's an oil field in construction, engineering, uh, finance and businesses, health and social services, ICT, electronics, um, telecommunications. Yeah. Uh, we have hospitality and tourism. They have science aspects, trades, um, agriculture and forestry. Sure, agriculture and forestry, education, telecommunications. You know, a whole lot of um, um, uh, employees, uh, employers are beginning to employ foreigners to work in New Zealand. And I've already told you that they have the authorization to sponsor you so the list of companies offering new zealand visa sponsorship jobs okay now let me mention some to you but remember i'll put the names of the companies in the uh, description aspect of this video so when you go to the description side you can see a whole lot of companies that can uh, that you can apply for a job there okay so we have uh, ACC, ACC is also a company in New Zealand. We have Access Community Health Limited. We have AFCO Holdings Limited. We have Air New Zealand. We have Alliance Group Limited. Another one is Osco NZ. That is Osco New Zealand. Another one too is Altus. So all these companies, they are, they are many. They are many, okay? All these companies that I'm mentioning, I will just put them there. There are links there. You just click on it. You just check their job site or you check their career sites and you know the job available and the, the 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 region or the town in the new zealand that you wish to travel to please take all these things that have we've been educating you on take them serious it works many i know many people are uh, uh, in the process of traveling because companies have answered their 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 call <laughs> so please take these things these opportunities uh, at heart or from your heart okay and you know the document required to travel to uh, New Zealand is that international applicants who are looking forward to working in New Zealand will need a work or resident visa and I had already told you that you need this one work or resident visa but a company if they employ you if they accept you they will help you to travel safely listen to this one. I said to get this to get this, that is the, the, the work or resident visa. To get the work or resident visa, international applicants should apply for the jobs in the aforementioned company. That is the companies. You have to first apply for the jobs, okay, in the company that have the audacity or the authorization to sponsor you with a visa. The above companies are authorized to sponsor international applicants. So like I said, they are authorized to... Uh, remember, not every company has or have the right to do that, okay? Not every company or not all the companies have the right to do that. But there are, there are a lot of companies. So maybe if you pick a company and uh, they, doesn't, they, doesn't, they do not help you, it means they don't have the authorization to do such. So remember, just take the companies that I will be putting on the discretion side, okay? And remember, he said... Uh, you you also need a CV, okay? A CV. Is that employers from New Zealand only want to see relevant information on applicants' CVs, okay? Thus, employers are mostly are most interested in the following: technical and personal skills, work experience, qualifications and education, community and volunteer experience. Yeah, community and volunteer experience. Also, employ also employers would like to see some evidence of how applicants have applied their skills. So, what I'm going to do in my next video is I'm going to help you with uh, a format or a sample of a CV that suits uh, New Zealand employers. Okay, a sample of a CV that suits New Zealand employers. What they are looking for. I hope you get me. So, this 
are the companies. Remember, go to the description side, get all the companies there and click on them, go to their job site or go to their career site. You will see uh, the jobs available there and the regions available too. You just look at how they are, prepare yourself, know that you have to um, select the one that suits you, okay? Then you try as much as possible. Since the, the, the CV video is not in yet, you can also try as much as possible to look for how the CV is. Or you can contact me, like I said, bossbk101 at gmail.com. Boss, B-K, B-O-S-S, B-K, 101 at gmail.com so that we, we we chat over there the name still remains the same i am the pops pk see you in the next video sure